So welcome everyone. Namaste. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Um, so today, before we start practicing, I wanted to tell you, maybe some of you know, I'm taking an online philosophy course that I'm really liking. And this weekend, as I was studying um, the portion that I'm uh, going through, it's a yoga philosophy course, um, I was studying about a concept that I thought that it's so, so um, perfect for this time. So um, the, the word or the concept that I was studying, it's called raga, raga. And raga is a word that is related to past, um, past memories or past situations in our lives that were good and we really cherish them um, and somehow unconsciously, unconsciously, because they were so good, we want them to be repeated or we want them to be there again in the present moment. So what happens with Raga is that it becomes a little bit of a roadblock in our lives when we are so attached to a situation that was so good and we really like want to bring it back to the present moment that it actually keeps us from being present, right? So imagine like a quick example, uh, I'm guessing all of us uh, had in our lives maybe at some point, maybe in the past or maybe not so in the past. Imagine you start a relationship and you are like uh, super excited about being with this new person and you fall in love and you really like them and uh, you're having a really good time for the first uh, few months. And then somehow things are starting to not go so well and you start perhaps fighting or not understanding each other and then you break up right and um and then um sometime later this person comes back and says no but i think we should work it out it can be like it was before and you are attached to that first uh, experience of the pleasure and of the the happiness that you had at that moment and you say okay let's get back together again and then when you start trying again perhaps the first few days it feels like it was like in the past but then you start realizing that things are not exactly the same, right? So um, I'm guessing all of us maybe passed through this uh, situation or some experience like that, right, in our lives. So the thing is that um, in this concept, the idea is that if we can think for ourselves of a situation that we are kind of clinging to, we are able to, with love and compassion, observe it and recognize it and then let it go. Because also that past situation is not letting us be uh, in the present moment in the full potential of what the new can bring. So I was thinking this weekend on how this new situation for all of us of being at home and changing the whole, um, the whole, um, practice in our lives, right? Because we are in, we are not going out so much, uh, we have to wait in line to get into the supermarket. How perhaps for many of us, this anxiety or sadness is about feeling that we want everything to be back the same exactly as it was. And the truth is that if we can let go of that and see that maybe this new reality can bring new opportunities or, it, or we can with love and compassion let go of what we had or the things the way they were, we can be open to the full potential of what the new can bring. So today, the invitation as you sit tall, let your palms rest on your lap and close your eyes, is to first take a few deep breaths, inhaling deeply through the nose, big exhale, slowly starting to move the attention inward, checking in, your physical body, the energy level, the thoughts, the breath of course. And maybe today you want to choose something that you feel perhaps you are clinging to from the past. Maybe from a not so distant past, maybe something from a long distant past that you want to bring to this moment, observe it in loving awareness with compassion. And perhaps today you choose that through your practice, you're going to give yourself a chance to say goodbye to that or let, let, let it go somehow. 
And with that action of letting it go, you enter the present moment. You give yourself the chance to be fully where you are now, noticing what happens now, clearly seeing the reality as it is and giving yourself the chance to be open to perhaps new and better things. Let's invite our palms to come together, the thumbs to rest right in front of the heart center. We enter this practice as we are. We play the cards that we have with compassion, with awareness, with the opportunity to take every single breath as a chance to return when we feel we are lost or we feel we are clinging to something that is not there now. We open the practice with the own sound, inhaling deeply first through the nose, big exhale through the mouth, and then breathing in again. Oh. And connecting the head down to the hands and the heart for a moment. Keep your face soft. Relax your palms down to your lap when you are ready, lifting the head opening the eyes, welcome again. Thank you for being here with me in this practice. Let's start today. I'm going to be sideways so you can see me. I'm going to sit on my heels. If this is something that it's not comfortable for you, you can sit on a pillow or put a couple of blocks in between your heels and then you sit there um, on, the, on the support, okay? We're not staying long. We are just sitting here for a moment. We're going to bring the arms in front, lacing the fingers, and then press your palms away from you and push the arms away so we start activating the wrists. And we're going to take one inhalation here. And with the exhale, we push a little further and we let the upper back round, bringing the navel in. Just staying here for a moment. Good. With your next inhalation, send your arms up towards the ceiling. And with the exhale, we stay there and we try to lengthen a little bit more through the inner arms, pressing through the palms, maybe the index fingers pushing a little higher. See if here you can bring your floating ribs in, firm your hips also towards the midline of your body and release your sitting bones a little further down. Keep the chin of the chest and send your arms a little further back. One more breath. And then with the exhale, we release the arms to the sides. We are going to lace the fingers behind the lower back for the last one. Here, roll the shoulders back. Extend your arms behind you. Again, tone your uh, core. So what we do is to lift from the pelvic floor, bring the floating ribs down and in a little. Firm the hips in and then send the shoulder blades down and the arms a little further back away from your tailbone, if that's possible for today. Feel the opening of the chest, the collarbones, and the lift of the spine. Deep inhale here through the nose. Deep exhale. Good, and then we release that, shaking a little. We'll come into hands and knees for a moment if you need to tap your feet or move a little bit there, do so. Good. And like we usually do, let's start with cat cow three times. Inhaling, we arch the spine, shoulders back, lifting the tailbone. Exhaling, we round. Check the position of your palms, give a little bit of space. Inhale, arching again, lifting the heart, chin up. Exhale. One more, we inhale. And exhale. 
Claude, when we get back to center, wiggle your hips a little bit from side to side. If you can, you activate that core again, lifting through uh, the navel up. And then if you want, add a little bit of the head and the shoulders also moving from side to side, a little bit of zigzagging and wiggling. Good, and we get back to center. Before we go up, we'll go to that more facing dog. I want you to check your hands and dial them a little bit out, away from each other, so there is a little bit more space in the chest. Move your knees a few inches behind your hips, bring the toes wide towards the edges of your mat, tuck the toes, and we start pushing the mat away, pressing through the knuckles of the four fingers, rounding through the fingertips, and we start sending the arms more active, pushing the floor away, releasing the head. Keep your knees bent for a little bit, like we usually do in the beginning, bring your ribs in, Relax the head, let it be heavy, and feel the toning of your arms, and slowly more of the toning of your thighs towards your bones. Pedal your feet slowly one time, and then another time for each foot, like if you're walking, slowly lengthening the backs of the legs. Good, a couple more times. Good, and then from here, we are going to bring the feet a little closer, hip distance or a little wider, and start sending the inner heels back and down towards the back of your mat. Feel the sensations in your arms, your legs, lift the center up, relax the head. Good, and then from there, we're going to take plank. We we'll inhale into the top of a push-up, and then we'll exhale back to downward facing dog. Two more like that. Inhaling slowly, lifting the abdomen, lengthening, gazing forward, one or two feet in front of you. Exhale to downward facing dog. And one more, inhaling, we come to plank. Exhaling downward facing dog. Good. From there, bend the knees. Zip that belly up, gaze forward, and take a big step towards the top of your mat. Then another step, and we'll inhale hands to the shins halfway. We'll lift the chest, lift the belly. Exhale, we fold, rolling the uh, chest, let it drop into the legs. Then again, inhaling halfway, hips and shoulders in the same height. Exhale and fold. One more time. Inhaling halfway, exhaling we fold. Good, relax there, the head and the neck, say no, and then yes. Good, and if you need a block to hold yourself here, put a block or two. If your hands are easily touching or the fingertips, keep them there. We are going to cross the right leg over the left one, so I'm putting the right foot over to the left, and then I'm going to fold again. Keep your right knee bent, is the one that it's in front, and push the left heel down as much as you can into the earth. Drop the head, drop the torso. And if you can, you're going to shift your hips a little bit to the right. Just a little. You'll feel a little bit more of the stretch there in the hamstrings and the hips. And then slowly bring the right foot back to the right side. Cross the left leg over the right one. So now it's all the way up to the other side, to the right. And again, I'm folding the trunk. I'm going to keep the left knee bent. I'm pushing the right heel super heavy into earth. That back leg is straight. And then see if you can shift your hips a little bit to the left. Relaxing the neck and the head. Lower belly lifting in. Good, and then we put that left foot back to its side. Bring your hands onto your hips, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine and come all the way up to standing. Beautiful, a few sun salutations here. We're going to move, inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhaling, we fold, swan dive. Inhaling, halfway hands to shins, open the chest. Exhale, bring the right leg back, right knee down. 
Good, we are going to stay here. Tuck your back toes. We are going to just inhale, lift the right knee. Exhale, bring it down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, keeping the chest open. Inhale, exhale. Good, from here we inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale and shift the hips forward so we open up a little bit more there. Bring your arms to a cactus shape, opening the chest, zip up that belly, lengthen through the sacrum, one more breath, inhaling. Exhale. Good. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, we go to downward facing dog. Inhaling, right leg up and back. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee comes down. Inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the left foot forward and fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhaling to center. We release and we start for the second side. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, Uttanasana, folding. Inhaling, halfway lengthen the spine. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. Good, we stay here. Lift the front of your spine, send the sternum up. Three times we lift the left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, chest up, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, inhaling, arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus shape, opening the chest, zip up that belly. Let's shift the hips forward, breathing in and out. Shoulder blades in and down, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg up and back. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, bring your right foot forward and fold. Inhaling to the half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, arms come all the way up. Exhaling to Tadasana, and we release. Beautiful, second one, let's go. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up, overhead. Exhaling, hands down, lift your right knee off the mat. Right hand goes all the way out to the right side of your mat. We inhale, we twist to the left. Lean back, open the chest, and the left hip back towards your right foot. Push the right heel back. Good, exhale, left hand down, left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the right knee, open the hip, sending the right foot towards the left. Lift the ribs in, re-lengthen that right leg up and back, right foot forward, stay there, inhale, exhale, left foot forward and fold, inhale, half lift, belly up, exhale, coming all the way up, press through the feet, ignite the legs, exhale into center, and release, second side. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhaling, halfway. Exhale, left leg back. Stay there, left hand goes all the way outside your left, the left side of your mat, twist to the right. Shoulders back, lean back. Send the right hip towards the left foot, heel, on the left side goes back towards the back of the room. 
Good, right hand down. Let's go back downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Bend the left knee, opening the hips, sending the left foot to the right. Stabilize your arms, send the sacrum in. Send that left knee a little further to the right. Good, inhale, re-extend, left leg. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, lift the chest, tone those legs. Exhale, right foot forward and fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling. Tadasana, we release. Beautiful, from here, we are going to bring the feet together. When you're ready, inhale, Utkatasana. Sit low, lift the belly, open the chest. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Left elbow to the right, we twist this chair, going a little further, hook the knees into each other, send the shoulders back. Looking to the present, not looking back. Releasing with compassion what we can let go of. Coming back to the center. Exhale, right to left. Squeeze the palms into each other. Try to bring your thumbs towards the right shoulder. Send the left shoulder back. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, stay there, low. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, we go to downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank pose. Exhale, you can bring your knees down first or all the way down to the floor. Good, from here, bring your elbows in front of you. Bring your palms together, let them press into each other. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Good, tuck your toes, press through the forearms and the elbows, lifting to forearm plank. Exhale, release. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift forearm plank. One inhalation here. Exhale, release. And tuck the toes, one more. Inhaling shoulders back, lift the sternum. Tuck your toes, exhale, forearm plank. Stay there for the inhale, lift those ribs in, lengthen through the heels, lift the thighs. Exhale, release. Good, hands under the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back, inhaling, cobra. Exhale, fold. Tuck your toes. Let's go back, downward facing dog. Nice, big breath in. Big breath out. Shake a little bit if you want, move your hips from side to side. A few times or pedal your feet. Again, dial your hands a little bit out, both of them, so you have extra space for the chest. Good. Let's bring the feet a little closer. Inhale your right leg up and back. Right foot comes forward in between the hands. I'm going to switch so we are mirroring each other. So right foot forward, warrior two, extend through the arms. And first settle into the warrior. So feel your feet toning through the legs. Drop the right sitting bone. Try to make that left, uh, right thigh a little more parallel to the floor. Good. Now we are going to bring right arm on top of the left one. And two options here. One, to take the eagle arms, if you can do that. If that is not happening, with your left arm, you'll just press the right one towards your chest, okay? If you are taking the eagle shape, you're going to lift the elbows as much as you can. Listen to this, we'll go together. And from here, keeping the warrior two, I'm going to drop both my forearms to the right. I let my head drop to the left. 
Take a deep breath. Good, then we return with the head to center, arms to center, re-extend the arms. Inhale here, exhale. Good, straighten your right leg, bring the back foot a little closer, put your left hand onto your left hip. Inhale, right arm up, opening the chest. Exhaling, we go towards the triangle, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen until you land your hand onto your shin, your foot, your ankle, or a block, okay? Roll the shoulders back, belly up, lengthen that underside, navel into the back of your body, glutes forward, and then send your left arm up. Two breaths, burning what's stuck, inside of us that we need to release perhaps today. Lovingly, compassionately, we let that go. We stop clinging to the things that will never be the same, but they give us a chance to open up to the new with more and new possibilities. Good, from here, we are going to bring that right hand down yeah, it's a right left hand out, sorry. You're going to be framing your front leg, which is your right. Bring the back foot a little closer. Send the right hip up and back. Lengthen through the spine. Lift up that navel or the lower belly into the back and then fold over that front leg. Back leg super toned. If you need to bring it closer, bring it closer. Press through the heel. One more breath, lower belly lifting, relax the head. Good, let's put the hands down. Let's take that right leg back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, we come to plank. Exhale, come all the way down. Again, bring your forearms in front of you, lace your fingers or press the palms into each other. Press through the forearms, stack your toes. Inhaling. Forearm plank, push the floor away with your forearms, press the heels back, lift the belly. Good, exhaling, coming back, and tuck your toes, hands under the shoulders, roll the shoulders, inhale, cobra. Exhale, release, tuck your toes, we go to downward facing dog. Big breath in, and big release. Again, dial your hands a little bit out. One more breath before we take the last side. Good, let's go. Second side, inhaling your left leg up and back. I'm going to switch. Exhale, right, left foot forward and right leg turns down. We are going to come to warrior two, second side. It's your left, guys, if you're facing me. Good, from here, lower through that left sitting bone, widen the left thigh back, press into that back foot, breathe in, release. Nice, now we are going to bring the left arm over the right one, okay? Two options, either with your right arm you push the, um, the left one towards the other side, or you take the eagle arms, okay? From here, lift the elbows. Good. We are going to bring both arms to the left and then the head to the right. Breathing in, tone the legs. One more breath here. Slowly returning with the head, returning with the arms, re-extend the arms. Nice, straighten the front leg, bring that back foot a little closer, right hand onto the right hip. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lengthen the side as much as you can, go far, 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 and then touch down into your block or the foot or somewhere in your leg. Squeeze the glutes in and forward. Send the right arm up. 
Squeeze and tone the belly in. Send the chest and the belly up towards the skies. One more breath. Beautiful, then slowly bringing that right hand down. We are going to frame the front foot. Bring the back foot a little closer so both feet are grounded. Squeeze the hips towards the midline. Bring the blocks if you need them. Send that left hip up and back. Lift the lower belly and then flow, uh, fold over that left leg. Three breaths. Releasing into the present moment, not trying to force. Stay with what is, with the cards you have. Good, and we place the hands down, bring that left leg back, plank pose. Lower onto your mat. One more time, we'll bring the forearms in front, lace the fingers or press the palms towards each other. We are going to take first an inhalation to lift the chest. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift into the forearm plank. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift through the chest, shoulders down. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift into the plank. Good, stay here for a moment. And for the ones who want to keep playing a little bit more, we are going to start walking the feet a little closer to your arms and come towards the dolphin shape, we call it, pressing through the elbow, sending the chest towards your legs, head relaxed, pressing to the forearms, bring the ribs in, keep pushing through the elbows, one more breath, Good, then let's walk the feet back, forearm plank. Exhale, bring it down. Good, bring your arms alongside your torso, put one cheek down and rest. I'll tell you when we get out of the rest, so take a moment to de-stress your breath and bring it back to a more relaxed space. An opportunity as we lie down to soften, let go in loving compassion, recognizing maybe the things that we stay attached to. Good, change the cheek side. So turn the head to the other side and we'll stay for a few more breaths. Good. Then slowly from there, return with the head towards the center. Bring your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. Go to a tabletop, and from here we lift up to downward facing dog. Good, lengthen through the sides. Send the sitting bones up and back. Good, let's inhale the left leg up and back. Left leg, left foot forward. This time we're going to turn the back foot in and down, bending the front knee. And from here, put your hands onto your hips and lift up. We are coming to the warrior one. Your left leg is in front. And what I'm going to do today is to move that left foot all the way to the left side of the mat. So you have it on the side and there's more space in between the legs. Okay, we are going to keep that. Tone that back leg, make sure you're pressing into that back heel, bending the front knee, send your arms up, warrior one. Lengthen through the sides. Catch your um, right forearm, pull from there, and bring yourself towards the left. Keep bending the front knee. Drop that left sitting bone. 
One more breath. Good, then we slowly come back. Bring the ribs in, send the arms behind you, lace your fingers, roll the shoulders back, extend through the arms. Good, bring that navel in, lift the lower belly. We are going to fold the torso inside the left leg. Try to tuck a little with your chin, so you release the head and you tuck the chin in, but you send the arms further up and back. Send your left sitting bone towards the right foot. One more breath. Good, then slowly release the hands inside that left foot. Lift your right heel, bring the knee down. Nice, we are transitioning into something else. From here, I'm going to put the right hand a little further out to the right. With your left hand, you go on top of your left thigh. Roll the shoulders back and twist, lifting up towards the ceiling. Option here, not for everyone, but if you want, you bend your right knee and you catch the outside of the foot with your left hand. Good, leaning back a little. If you are not catching your foot, it's absolutely fine. You can put the left hand onto your left hip, it's all good. If you're catching the right foot, See if you can push the foot into the hand and open the chest a little more. Last breath. Then release slowly. Bring that left hand back. Good, we go back to downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, we go to the second side. Inhale your um, right leg up, belly in, exhale, right foot forward, back heel comes down. Good, press through the feet, bring the hands onto the hips and lift up. Second side for warrior one, beautiful. Now you're gonna put that right foot all the way to the outer side of your mat or to the edge. Okay, so we have more space in between the feet. Drop that um, right knee, drop the sitting bones, lift through the navel up to the sternum. Let's send the arms up. Good, now with your right hand, catch your left forearm. Stay there for a moment, tone that back leg, pull up, lengthen that left side and bring it towards the right. One more breath. Let that right sitting bone sink. Come back to center. Release, we lace the fingers behind the lower back. Roll the shoulders and extend. Good. Now from here, we're going to lift the lower belly in. Keep the arms pulling back and away from you. Shoulders down. And we fold the trunk inside the right leg. Send the arms and the shoulders away from the neck. Tuck your chin a little. Let the torso drop. One last breath. Good. Then slowly release the hands. Lift your left heel. Bring the knee down. Beautiful. Now the left hand will go all the way out to the, the edge of your mat. With your right hand, you put it on top of your right thigh, right? I'm showing like this. And then from there, roll the shoulders, open up, lean back, lift the sternum, send the shoulder blades down. Good. Option here to bend your left knee and with your right arm, go back. And if you can, you catch the outside of the foot. And when you do that, you push the foot into the hand to open up thoracics and lean back, opening ourselves to the present moment. If this is not working in your body, a right hand goes onto your right hip and it's all good, you can stay here, okay? 
One more breath. Good, slowly release, bring that right hand down, back to downward facing dog, pedal your feet. Bring your knees down and come to child's pose. Let's rest the sitting bones back to the heels, relax the forehead, Put your arms where it feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's your hands up, uh, underneath your forehead. Maybe the arms go to the sides. Perhaps just in front and the elbows bend. Let's take five deep breaths here. Coming back to the present moment. Taking notice of the body. The breath. Finding gratitude and contentment in the moment as it is. Look within yourself. Find what you're grateful for. Observe that memory, bring it in loving kindness, the one perhaps that is hooking you or holding you back from experiencing the moment as it is now. Good, then we'll slowly come towards a seat, bringing the legs in front. Shake them a little. Again, I'm going to mirror you guys, so we go together. So after you bring your legs in front, you're going to bend your left knee, and you're going to send that knee down to the floor, and the foot is going to come towards the outside of your right hip, okay? Then I'm bending the right knee and putting that right foot over to the left. Try to ground through the sitting bones. Well, we sit tall first. We are going to send the right hand behind. Inhale your left arm up. And with the exhale, grab that right leg and we twist, lifting the belly, lifting the spine and moving the belly, the torso, the chest towards the wall you have behind you. Two breaths here. And then we'll bring the chin towards your left shoulder. So towards the shoulder that it's in front. Two breaths. Good, last option here, not necessary, not obligatory. With your left hand, catch the outside of your right foot and Push that foot into the hand, almost like if you want to cut that outer side of the foot into your hand to help you lift and twist again towards your um, right shoulder. And if you have the space, you can take that right arm behind you, okay? In the air, if you want to balance a little bit more. One more breath. If not, you're staying in the twist, it's all good. Good, we slowly return, put the foot down, coming back to center, extend both legs, shake them a little. Ah, good, and we go to the second side. So bend your knees, and now the right knee is the one that it's going to go down to the floor, and the foot, the heel over to the uh, left side of your hips. And we'll bring the left leg over to the right, Try to ground both sitting bones and padding if you need support, sitting tall. This time we're going to bring the left hand behind. Inhale, right arm up. Nice, and then from there we go and we hold that left knee in. Try to drop that left sitting bone and left hip down to the mat, lift the spine, and we bring the belly and the chest towards the wall behind you. Two breaths there. And then we switch the chin towards the front shoulder. 
So it should be your right one. Deep breaths. Good. And then you can stay here for a couple more breaths or the last option, send your right hand to the outside of the left foot, push the foot into the hand, extending that leg in front of you and bring the shoulders back and down, twisting to your left. You can send the left arm back or keep it behind you for support. Push that outer edge like a knife edge into your hand. If you're doing this balance, lift through the crown of the head. Nice, then we slowly return, release that leg. Good, coming back to center, re-extend both legs. Shake them a little. Good. If you need to bend your knees, keep the knees bent, sit tall. If you need a bell to hold your feet, you can bring it and use it there. We are going to inhale, arms up, and then lifting that lower belly in. I'm lengthening the spine, keeping the chin off the chest, coming towards the legs, and folding. Five breaths. Round through the leg bones, two more breaths. Then slowly, if you have the belt, release the belt, or you use your hands, lifting back up. Nice, good. If you want to have a block close by to use it, you can. We are going to come onto our backs. And first, we just lie down, stay there for a moment with your heels close to your sitting bones. Make sure that maybe that your fingertips or your nail tips can touch your heels and keep them a touch outside your hips, just a touch. Lengthen the spine, bring your shoulder blades towards each other, like if you want to tuck them in behind your chest. Stay there, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Then we are going to press through the feet to lift into the bridge pose. If this is not a shape that it's good for you, you put the block under your sacrum and you have extra support, okay? So we are going to press through the palms, press through your feet, lift the pelvis, lift your glutes, your hamstrings, walk again, those shoulder blades in, tuck them in behind the chest, if you want or you like uh, lacing the fingers, bring the fingers laced behind you. If the shoulders or the upper back are tense, you can hold your mat instead so you have more space. Just make sure that you push through the feet to lift the sacrum and the glutes. Stay here, breathing in. Lengthen, lift. Bring the feet a little closer to each other. Press through your left foot, lift your right knee into the chest and then the leg up. Press through that left foot, lift, lift, lift. Bend the right knee, bring the foot down. Reset, shoulder blades in, lift the sacrum. Second and last side, press onto your right foot. Knee to the chest, left leg up. Press, press, press through the shoulders. Bend the left knee, bring the foot down, deep breath in, and then slowly release the hands out and let your body slowly roll back down. Take a deep breath in here, big exhale. Good, let's put the soles of the feet together with the knees wide to the sides. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. Take a few breaths here. Bring your attention to the movement of your body as you breathe and the sensation 
sensations in your palms, in those two areas where your palms are resting. So feel the breath. Expand and lift the lower belly, the chest, the lungs, and notice as they release, letting go without expectations. Through this practice, we burn those attachments to past experiences that were good as they were, and we let ourselves be free, releasing those attachments to be open to what's coming and to be able to see the possibilities the positive in the new. One more full breath. Exhale. Nice, then with your hands, slowly bring both knees towards each other. We are going to bring the knees towards the armpit, so hug them in, but instead of being together into your chest, let them go a little wider towards the armpits, like I said, and there, stay for a moment, feel the back of your body pressing down on your mat, lengthening the spine. Good, and then slowly cross the right leg over the left one. You can put the, uh, the left foot down if you need. Cross that leg, shift your hips to the right a little, Open your arms to the sides or a cactus shape if there's not enough space and drop both your legs to the left. Relaxing the shoulders, chin to the right. With the exhale, another chance to drop and release. Softening the skin, letting your ears relax, dropping your tongue, jawline really heavy. and then slowly returning with the head back to the center. Slowly bring the legs back. Reset the hips towards the center of the mat. Take the right leg out. Good, last side, left leg goes up and over the right leg. Shift your hips if you need a little bit to your left. Relax the upper back. Bring both legs to the right, chin to the left. Soften the shoulders. Relax your eyelids. Let your eyeballs slowly start dropping further back and down towards the back of your head. One more opportunity to expand, access as many corners as you can in your body and release, empty yourself from the energy, the thoughts, the memories that it's time to let go of. Then slowly bringing the head back to center, legs back to center. Reshift the hips towards the midline of your mat. Take that left leg out. Good. Extend the legs towards the top of your mat. Shake them a little. Make sure that you're not holding there. If you need support under your legs with a roll blanket or anything to support the lower back or to keep your knees bent perhaps or put something underneath, do so. Inhale, arms overhead. 
Exhale, bring the arms alongside your trunk. Relaxing again through the shoulders and the shoulder blades. If you choose that you want to have your palms resting on top of your belly, you can do that. And then we are from here coming towards Shavasana, the resting posture that we take after the practice. As always, I'll let you know when we are done with the time. Find comfort and ease in the shape. And make sure that you rest there, relaxing everything. We let go of doing. And we let this practice sink and benefit our bodies, our breath, our energy, our thoughts, our spirit. <laughs>